Hair is a very big part of who I am, I think. I think I've always been one of those people who knew I was supposed to have long hair, but I uh, had to cut it off for other people in my life to make other people more comfortable. I don't think that hairstylists purposefully try to misgender transgender people. I think that from the very beginning we're taught there's a men's cut and a women's cut, and so we carry that through without fully thinking about it. Now you take someone who identifies within the LGBTQ community and visually seeing themselves in the mirror the way they feel on the inside can really change their lives. My name is Kristen Rankin, and I'm a hairstylist in Toronto and the founder of The Dress Code Project. A lot of these kids really experience a lot of anxiety when they go to get a haircut because they're afraid of being misgendered. So um, it's really nice that, you know, we do this, they see that we get it. I just decided to uh, not listen to other people and listen to myself which was uh, an awkward couple of months of growing my hair out. Uh, from uh, a side part to this isn't uh, easy to come by. So today we're doing the Gender Free Haircut Club. Some people may use she, her pronouns, he, him pronouns, they, them pronouns. If you get it, amazing. If you just can't remember it, just call them by their names. They're all gonna be arriving soon, so we'll get the show on the road. I'm gonna cut off all my locks. Yep, my dreadlocks, they're going today at the Gender Free Haircut Club. I haven't felt connected to them and I'm just over it. Um, but I think for society as a whole, the hair is a very important part of identity. But the weight you give it is, is personal. My kid Nathan is here for the haircut, just for the safety of it. It's a comfortable place, it really is. And there's a lot of anxiety that my kid goes through and this is a place where he can just come and feel completely at ease. This kid has had the guts to be different for a very long time, and when I see Nathan embracing it, you just like, you know, go. Like, just, that's perfect. At the end of the day, if a transgender person can walk into any salon anywhere in the world and not worry about having to pick a men's or a women's cut, then we've done our jobs.